Hello and welcome back to Tinker Talks Guns. A few weeks ago, I got to thinking, what is the cheapest pistol mount light on Amazon? Then I got to thinking, what is the cheapest rechargeable pistol mount light on Amazon? Because I like rechargeable weapons mount lights. And I got on Amazon and found out it's this. This is $20 recharges from a USB-C port, and um, it's pretty basic. Now, it does not fit on the gun the way it was shown to on Amazon. On Amazon, with a Glock 19 slide and dust cover for an example, it appeared to be this big. It appeared to fully fill this space. It does not. It is smaller than that. This will actually fit on a subcompact. And it, when I mounted it to the single included slot on the PSA dagger frame, it was sticking. The controls were inconveniently far from my finger. So I just filed another slot in and mounted it properly. So it's at least close to how it is shown on Amazon. This is a 500 lumen light. It has a solid aluminum casing. The lens surround seems to be plastic and it has two buttons that pretty much where you'd expect them and pretty much in the standard fashion. And of course the exposed USB-C connector port. And um, I compared it to an Olight that claims to be 500 lumens. And this is just as bright with about the same beam spread. So I'll say their claim of 500 lumens is adequate. Now, if you press both buttons at once, you can change mode. So we've got 300 lumens, 500 lumens, or a strobe. And if you touch a single button to turn it off, when you turn it back on, it's in whatever mode you left it in. That's arguably kind of a nice feature. And um, although I do want to set it to there we go, 500 lumens. Um, it's solid. It's very basic. I mean, there's a simple screw with a couple different mounting holes. You can put the single screw in. It actually came with an extra screw. Okay, why not? And um, it's surprisingly solid. Now, they do claim it is water resistant. So I did decide to see how water resistant it is. This is the rather nasty looking quench bucket under my grinder in my knife making shop. This is the cheapest weapon mount light on Amazon, which cost me $20 and it says it is water resistant. Let's have a look at that. Water resistant probably doesn't mean immersible. And yet, despite being fully immersed in water, it still works just fine. I think we can say that that is water resistant as claimed. Now I'm going to go clean my gun. Okay, it continued to function after complete immersion, which kind of exceeds the water resistant standard. Um, and once I blew out the port, it charged normally. I, like I said, blew the water out of the port because I don't like being electrocuted. And uh, it charged up again normally. This has been mounted on the gun for weeks and has been hanging out in my shop, getting covered in dust and crud and getting banged into things and knocked around. And it's keeps working exactly as it did when it arrived. I'm not sure this is sustained enough abuse. So our $20 no name, no brand weapon mount light has withstood the sort of normal knocking around that you'd encounter carrying it and using it. So that that's fair. But I don't think fair is good enough. I think we need to be unfair. This is a very stout, dead blow soft hammer. Turn it on and off with a hammer. That's good to know.
all the functions still function. Huh. I'm a little disappointed. Because I expected to break this easily and have it stop working and we could all have a good laugh. But the damn thing just keeps working. I don't know what to tell you. It's 20 bucks on Amazon. And I'd love to tell you who made it. But all it says is China. <laughs> There's literally no manufacturer's name that I could find associated with this product. Twenty bucks, it's a good weapon my light. <laughs> I don't want to sell you that. I wanted to break it and have a good laugh, but no such luck. So it's going to stay right where it's at. And when the optic I'm currently testing goes through its torture testing, this will be right there with it and we'll see what we see. But honestly, if you're on a super tight budget and you need a light duty weapon mount light, I can't tell you that this is a bad purchase. Now I have a sample size of one, but so far it's disappointingly decent and reliable. So <laughs> I'd like to shout out to my supporters on Patreon. Your contributions help more than you know. If you'd like to join my supporters, there is a link in the description below. I'd also like to thank channel benefactors, those individuals and businesses who have contributed to this channel in so many ways and really helped make it work. There's a link in the description below to AmmoSquared.com, an ammunition subscription service. If it looks like it work, if you follow the link and it looks like it'll work for you and you sign up, I get a little extra ammo in my account, which helps the channel. So. I guess that's it for this time. Well, I hope this finds you well. Stay safe, take care, and we'll talk to you again real soon.